Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Let's take a look at the Vertex Basecamp 3.0. And this is new, just came out in the fall of 2022. And so far, I will say this is a strong contender for my smaller family sized bug out bag, more like get out of Dodge type bag. This might be a winner. Vertex coming in with another banger. First off, let's get that thing in your face. I got to put it in there sideways. It's in your face. I'm not a big tech spec type of guy. I want to just come to you with how practical is this bag going to be for whatever you use case that you might have. Now, where does this bag fit in Vertex line of bags? Well, this is two sizes bigger than their smallest bag, which is the Vertex Ready Pack 3.0. That's coming in at 20 liters. The next size up from that is the Vertex Gamut. That's coming in at 25 liters. And then you have the base cam coming in at a smooth 30 liters. The only thing above this is the Vertex Overlander, which is a 45 liter bag. So this is a nice size bag. If you want this for maybe a two man hiking, maybe a camping experience, it has a lot of features, which makes it very tempting. I don't know about this being your everyday going to Starbucks bag. You might look like a goofball with that, but if, I mean, if that's your cup of tea, then do you. So MSRP on this bag, $280. You can oftentimes sign up for Vertex, give them your email and you can get like 10 or 15% off. If I have a discount code, I will link that up down below. You can also find this sometimes even cheaper on the Vertex store on Amazon. So always shop around before you pounce on something like this. Threaded nylon throughout the bag, which makes it extremely strong and durable. It has nice, extremely well done zippers and a lot of features that I'm a big fan of just looking at the bag so far. So I don't know what kind of material this is on the outside. It feels like a ripstop, like a Corduro, and if I'm mis if I'm mispronouncing that, pound sand type of fabric. It has fabric on the outside for two, you know, double-sided bottle holder type pouches on the outside. Let's start with the front of the bag. So very, very top of the bag, you have a small zipper, which is almost disguised because it does have a nice flap, which covers it, which is going to really protect that bad boy from weather and rain and stuff like that. Just a nice admin pouch, Not does not have any uh, loop paneling on there. So if you want to be able to throw anything in there that you don't necessarily want about any abrasive type of things inside, so sunglasses, pins, whatever you may want to keep at the very top. Right below that, you do have, one thing is I will say very deep, deep pocket here, which they do have this little pull handle here, which makes it a little bit easier to open this thing up has a zipper here which opens up the very front pocket of the bag and this exposes the full molly laser cut molly with the uh the hook and loop in the back so if you do have some stuff you might want to put on here you can either put traditional like magazines actually run those through there or you know you might want to come through maybe put like some panel type stuff on there maybe even like run a med kit through this thing so Lots of different options for the very front of this, whatever your cup of tea is. Now, one thing about this is if you want to actually roll this down and expose it, this is gonna help you keep it down, but you can roll this all the way down and you can leave it exposed. The one thing about it is unlike um, the Ready Pack and the Gamut, that those tuck in a little bit neater, so these straps do help with that. So full access opening here, these tuck underneath there. I am a kind of a big fan of how much real estate you're actually getting on the Molly panel itself. So still gives you the tactical look without necessarily always being tactically exposed. What is this bag for? We talked about the hiker, the camper. It's really for the prepared, but almost gray man type of professional. Very large uh, water bottle holders on the side here. So of course you can fit something small in there such as a nice 24 liter, you know, bottle. But if you wanna go all the way up to like a 40 liter bottle, you can even fit that in here with no issues. So it fits in the bag pretty well and you're able to use it how you see fit. These don't have any cinches, unlike the Ready Pack but you don't really need it. These seem to be holding pretty strongly. Now the very bottom of the bag has this like molded um, it feels like a, you ever had like a blow molded tool case or something like that? It feels exactly like this. What is that for? When this thing is completely loaded down, it's going to stand up on its own. 
So obviously there's nothing in it right now, but once you have it loaded down, it's going to stand up on its own. That's going to be awesome if you want to be able to just flop this down in dirt or mud, have that extra layer of protection, and just feel more secure about the items that you have inside. If you look on the side, we almost have like this small hidden compartment right here. You can zip that down and it exposes that, and it does have a, a couple of slip pockets in there or you can even slip another water bottle inside of there. You have a lot of real estate to put items in there and it's almost completely disguised, which I kind of like that. You want to hook some type of carabiner, some type of items on the side. You can do that here. So imagine you want to throw a hero clip on the side of this thing. You got different options for there as well. Now that hidden pocket does not carry over to the other side. Just something to think about, but the actual uh, latch dust. One of my favorite things about all of the Vertex bags that I've ever had my hands on, which have this same type of build, is when these bags are laying down flat, they are totally designed to be grabbed very easily. Traditionally, with a bag like this, when you go to pick it up, you normally have to dig out the the strap or the strap is at the very top and it, it just doesn't feel practical. Now, I will say when I've had the Ready Pack 2.0 on a plane or something like that, having that under the seat in front of you, being able to just grab it like this and pick it up and move, fantastic feature in the Vertex line of bags. I wish other bags would kind of incorporate a handle in the very front. So if it is laying down, you can just quickly pick up the bag and go. Now, moving on to the back of the bag. There are some things I like about this thing. There are some things that I necessarily would, would I could do without. So it does have this nice molded paneling here, which allows for breathability. So I'm not sure if the old base camp had Vertex logo. I know I had the Vertex Ready Pack 2.0 and it had their logo, which was kind of of a sweat factory. So I think this new design is going to really be forgiving for those that like to sweat a lot. Does have the air mesh on the shoulder straps themselves. Super comfortable once you got this thing on your back. The chest cinch is completely adjustable. If you want to move this thing up and down, you can do that. One thing I don't like is that it does have a waist strap that's completely built in. The only way you can take this thing off is you can take these straps here off and remove the waist strap, but these actual loops will be uh, permanently on here. I wish they were completely removable. I'm not a big fan of using waist straps. They always make me feel kind of fat. So I can just do without those all together, but they're built in there. So you know, they're really sturdy in that I guess that's a plus. Now, one feature I like about the strap keep on this thing, it allows for you to keep some nice clean straps. Each of these have these little holders in there so that you can actually get these things in there. Oftentimes, I find myself getting some type of electrical tape and wrapping it around, especially it's, it's fitted for my shoulders. I like the fact that you have that. And it does have quick release straps hidden right below there. So if you've got this thing way down and you're just got done with a long ruck or a long hike, unsnap those, drop the bag, that makes for a nice convenience. If we look into the bag itself, it does have Vertex. I don't know if it's patented, but they have these large ready access pack uh, pull tabs, which are designed if you need to quickly access any specific pocket in a hurry. The new update for the 3.0 line of bags is that you can now actually take off this tab and move it to any zipper component that you want to. On the 2.0 line of bags, you had to leave this on the CCW compartment. I don't CCW in any of these bags, so having this large pull handle might be handy for the, the main compartment or that front compartment that we already took a look at. But you can grab a hold of this thing and quickly unzip the entire bag with a big hand versus just grabbing a small zipper tab and pulling it down like that. So we go here. Very large opening in the back. We'll talk about this front panel. Full hook and loop. So if you want to put, you know, your your CCW here, if you want to put extra items that you don't access as often up here, you can do stuff like that. So I, I have this like 511 pat. Uh, you know, you can put that in here. You know, whatever storage items you might want to put in here that you don't need a lot of access to, you can slap those right in here, or you can consider carry with the back of this thing. Another thing about this bag is that you can actually wear armor in this thing. So if we move on to this side of the bag, you can take this little plastic piece out that's right here and put in a full piece of armor. Premier Body Armor makes great uh, sets of armor. I actually have one of their laptop bags right here, and they make specifically sized uh, package uh, 
armor that you can use inside of the bag itself. This is completely slick. You could still use this for storage, but it doesn't have the hook and loop feature if that's something that you're gonna be looking for. Bringing this all the way up. I like the fact that that's a full 180 opening and it's a 180 opening just like the main component of the bag. Last thing about the back of the bag, if you do have a smaller size lock, so I have a TSA lock here, you can actually take this and you can run it through the zipper tabs here and you can actually lock this. I mean, I wouldn't do that because that screams steal me, but if you are CCW in this thing, you're leaving this in the back of a vehicle or back of a truck, I don't know. You could, you could just have that extra bit of protection so you, you are able to run a lock through there. Moving on to the main part of the bag, that same lock feature carries itself over to the main zipper pull of the bag. Nice little feature if you wanna be able to lock this as well if you got some expensive stuff inside. Before we open it inside up though, you do have the actual grab handle here, which is gonna allow for you to mostly grab the bag when it's upright, because it is kind of buried between the shoulder straps and the hot pull tab, which we'll talk about here in a second. Opening up the main pack itself, this has a full 180 degree opening very large size opening. Let's talk about the uh, the flat portion, uh, say you will. So they include now an actual admin pouch. So you can do all sorts of stuff with this thing. I mean, if you want to, you can run a tourniquet up there. You can run some pins, some multi-tools, or if you don't like theirs, completely get rid of it. Run your own admin pouch. I have the 511 admin pouch up here. So now you can run that and have access to whatever you want, or you can just keep different packet patches or whatever, whatever floats your boat, you can run this thing clean. So this little pull tab right here is called their hot pull tab. The way this thing works, at the very top of the bag is a little strap of Velcro. You can take that, put it on there, zip the bag back up. And now, with this actual hot pull tab right here, you can pull that, and quickly access the entire bag. So if you wanna just always kinda of keep that at the ready, you can do that. They have like this, I don't wanna call it mesh, cause it's not 100% mesh, it is kinda of see-through, but they got this paneling right here with a, a key, uh, a holder for your keys or anything else that you don't want to fall out the bag itself. You can't quite see through it, but you, you can still see if there are actual items inside. So you have that, and then you have additional hook and loop or um, the actual loop paneling here. And if you have something with hook uh, features on the back, you can use this. So plenty of uh, area to store different things where however you wanna kit this thing out. Moving on to the main part of the bag, very, very deep, plenty of storage in this part of the bag. It goes way down deep in there. All the way down to the bottom is the loop feature. So you can use hook and loop. One thing about I like about this is the entire a laptop holder component can be taken out of the bag if you don't have a need for it at all, or you can leave it in. This little strap right here is designed to hold your laptop securely in place. So this is a case that fits my 14 inch MacBook Pro. And this even fits in the laptop holder in the case. So that will be double protection and that's fantastic. Or you can just put the laptop directly in there. So I think this is designed to hold up to a 15 inch laptop. I like the fact that I can keep my computer in its case and still put it inside of the bag itself. If you don't like this strap, you can remove this actual laptop strap, get rid of it. And removing that strap allows for you to now run a bladder inside of here. And this little strap here is to run the actual bladder line through and you can run it through either side here and run it down your shoulder straps if you don't run a uh, run a, a laptop. That is basically it when it comes to the Vertex Base Camp 3.0. What are your thoughts down below? Is this something that you would pick up? If, would you rock this thing? I mean, it is pretty big, but it can hold a lot of different stuff in here. Camping, hunting, a, a bug out bag, a get home bag, your Starbucks warrior bag, whatever the case may be, this might be your go-to. Listen, if this is your first time stopping by, thank you for stopping by. Click the button down below, push subscribe, join us here on the battalion. Comment down below, what do you think about the Vertex Base Camp 3.0? Is this your cup of tea? Is this something that you would rock? I would love to know your comments down below. And if this is your first time stopping by, 
click the subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, if you got a few more minutes, stick around. Check out this video of my thoughts of the Vertex Ready Pack 2.0 for everyone else. We'll speak soon.